What's up? We're back in the kitchen. It's the food dude. I'm Noah. It's almost fall time. It's almost Thanksgiving season. So we're gonna learn how to make some cornbread. So we're gonna start. We're gonna take some butter. A third of a cup or six tablespoons. Two eggs. Two eggs and we're just gonna beat that up. Beat that up. Beat that up, beat that up. Beat that up. Just like that. Then you're gonna take a cup and a quarter of milk. I'm gonna whisk this in together. And we're gonna turn the oven on to 400. Start. And we're gonna take our cast iron and we're gonna take the rest of the butter here that we had and we're gonna throw this in the cast iron and we're just gonna make it nice and greasy and coat the whole thing with butter. Get the sides and then you throw the cast iron in the oven and you get it hot. And when you throw this in with the eggs, since this butter is warm, do it slowly and you want to whisk as you're pouring the butter in so you don't cook the eggs because you don't want to scramble the eggs at this stage. Boom. And then in my recipe, I like to add like a third of a cup of honey, a lot of honey. I like making it sweet. All mixed together, perfect. And now we're gonna make this some jalapeno cheddar cornbread. So we're gonna take half of an onion. Gonna throw that on the heat and we're gonna put the jalapenos and onions on. Jalapeno sauteing over here. What we're gonna do next is add our dry ingredients. And we're gonna do this one at a time. We're gonna start with the cornmeal. And you're gonna go, we're looking for two cups of cornmeal and flour combined. So a cup, two teaspoons of baking powder. And if you have baking soda available, throw some, throw like a half teaspoon of baking soda in. It's okay if it's lumpy, just like a good pancake batter. You want it to be lumpy. So we're gonna grind some cheddar. So we're gonna add the flour last. And when you add the flour, you wanna do as little mixing as possible. Cause when you mix flour, when you knead it, when you move it, that's how you develop gluten. And gluten is not gonna be our friend when we make our cornbread. We want it to be fluffy, we want it to be light. That's right, don't forget the salt. About, you know, a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. Our onions and jalapenos are cooked just slightly translucent, just what we're looking for. You don't need to cook them that much. And then straight into the batter. All right, now we are going to add the flour, last step. I used a cup of cornmeal, so we're gonna use a cup of flour, and bam. And now since I am baking up at high altitudes, I'm gonna add a two, teaspoons of flour and I had my oven set a little bit higher than you would if you're at low elevation if you're at sea level you'd have your oven at 375 I don't know but that's science that's how it works I don't know why as you can see it's runny but it's thick and there's pockets of cheese in there there's pockets of jalapeno and there's onion it's gonna be delicious this is gonna be a delicious cornbread perfect buttercup so you take hey buttercup Want some cornbread? <laughs> and then you're just gonna go straight in. Just like that. And you can see already on the sides, it's sort of crisping up, it's getting brown. That's gonna make a nice, perfect crust on our cornbread. Throw it in the 400 oven for 20 to 25 minutes, depending. And you want the toothpick to go all the way down and out without pulling up any batter or any dough. Just a nice, perfect poke. All right. It's been 25 minutes in the oven. Poke, clean, 
as a whistle. Cornbread. You can see the pockets of cheese in there. You can see the jalapenos. Oh, oh, let's try it. Throw some honey on that bad boy. And let's see how see how done it is. Nice. It's not crumbling away. It's not just breaking everywhere. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's a good cornbread. You heard it here first. <laughs>